an interesting thing is that I don't live in a Jewish neighborhood. So uh, one of the women in our town, um, when we first got there, said, you know, when I moved to Denville, that's a town nearby, right nearby, she says, everyone said, where are your horns? I understood Jews have horns. So I decided to stay here. And she was a religious woman. She kept kosher. She says, they had to know we didn't have horns. And my husband and I thought that we would serve Yiddish Jews as well by living, by living among everyone. I'm not saying we'd move to a non-Jewish neighborhood, but because we couldn't. In fact, there was a town that didn't welcome Jews. Now it has a big Jewish population. But at that time, they told us to go someplace else. And my husband was a pediatrician. Uh, is a, was a, you know, he's 87, so he's not working. But, uh, and um, he had a very, very, very big practice. People came from very far to come to him. He's very, very attentive, very caring, very smart. And, uh, but nevertheless, we were still told to go live someplace else. But now it's a different world, I have to say, in all those towns.